So you're ready to optimize your LinkedIn profile so you can make more connections and ultimately get more leads. The first thing that we're gonna start with today is updating a cover photo. It's right here, the first thing that connections and potential connections see when they click to view your profile. Here's mine. So in your cover photo, you wanna make sure that it is a high quality image that gives your viewer an explanation of what you do in a professional capacity. This is going to help you increase your views by 21 times with a cover photo as opposed to without. And it's going to increase the acceptance of your connection request by 36%. So how you're gonna do this is there's this little pin icon in the top right hand corner of your profile. Click on that. And here you'll be able to change the photo to a photo that you have saved to your desktop. So when I click change photo, I'm going to upload a new photo. LinkedIn also has photos for you to select, but I'm gonna upload a new co cover photo. And I've got my producer banner here. So once I click on the image I want, I open it, and then I'm going to apply it you'll see your cover photo is successfully changed. Did you know that adding a profile photo to your LinkedIn account makes your account 14 times more likely to be viewed than a LinkedIn account without a profile photo? Now remember, this is a professional networking site. So whatever photo you upload, you wanna make sure that it's relevant to your career and your level of professionalism. So, what you wanna think about as well is the amount of space that you're taking up in that profile photo. You'll notice that my face is taking up about 60% of this little bubble here. You don't want them to just only see your face because that doesn't tell them everything, right? You want it to feel like you're approaching them to give them a handshake. Now to upload your profile photo, what you're gonna do is click on that little bubble and then it's gonna give you the option to add a photo here. Beyond that, you'll see that you can upload a photo from your desktop, just like you did with the cover photo, or you can use your camera to take a quick snapshot and get it saved. For now, since I like my profile picture, I'm gonna show you how to upload from your desktop. So I'm gonna click upload photo. I'm gonna use my professional me. And you'll notice that you'll also have the option to zoom in or zoom out. I like that my face isn't taking up the entirety of that bubble, so I'm gonna click save. And you're done. People on LinkedIn tend to view our profiles because they're curious about who we are and how we can help them. After all, this is humans networking and potentially hiring other humans, right? So your LinkedIn profile is all about you. And this is a great opportunity for you to highlight some of your strengths and what makes you unique as a person. To do that, when you scroll down in your profile, you're gonna see this about section. This is what we're focusing on. Now, when you create a great about section, it's actually going to help increase your connection requests, your inbound connection requests by 36%. So a few things that you can focus on, I'm gonna click on this edit icon, is showing a little gratitude. These people are taking the time out of their day to get you to get to know you a little bit better. So thanks for spending time. Next, you wanna make sure that you're highlighting your accomplishments. So I call this how I get paid. You can call it whatever you want, but list out what you're good at and what you're continuing to hone your skills on. Next, People are looking for an opportunity to get to know you personally. Can they know, like, and trust you? So that's where I put my what I love. These are the things that get me really fired up and things that I look forward to in my day, especially that dark chocolate. Next, what do you do? These could be interests. These could be your day-to-day -day skills or this could be something that you're starting to build your strengths in when it comes to your business. And last but not least, tell them how they can connect with you. What do you want them to do next? Because after all, people love process. Tell us what's easy, tell us what's quick, and we have a higher likelihood of actually doing it. 
So for me, I want people to send me a LinkedIn message on how I can support them. For you, that could be giving you a call or using your calendar link to schedule time with you, whatever you choose. You'll also notice that my about me is not long sentences and complex words. I kept this as brief as possible. That's showing respect to the person that's taking the time to get to know you. After all, in digital spaces, we skim words. Once you're done, you just press that save button and you're good to go. I have another research statistic that I'm gonna throw your way. Did you know that 80% of LinkedIn users search LinkedIn itself to find businesses and solutions to help them solve their problems? This is where you come in when you tag Insurance Centers of America. LinkedIn also has its own search engine. So when you tag the company you're affiliated with, it actually increases your odds of showing up in a search for somebody who wants, let's say, insurance. So how you're gonna do this is when you scroll down your profile, past your about me, you're gonna come to experience. What you're gonna wanna do is add, use this little plus button to add an experience. So when I click add position, you wanna put your title. So you could put insurance agent, insurance professional, insurance producer, whatever you would like to. And then you're gonna wanna add the company name. So when I type in Insurance Centers of America, you'll see it pops up. Now I have tagged my LinkedIn profile with ICA's profile. And then from there, all you have to do is press save and you have just optimized search through LinkedIn. Ready to build your community? Next up is learning how to make connection requests. Now something to think about when you're requesting to connect with people throughout LinkedIn. Studies show that people are 80% more likely to accept a connection request when you attach a message to it. So what this is gonna look like is, let's say I really wanna connect with Ari here because I love her content and I think there's lots I can learn from her. When I click to view her profile, under more, it gives me the option to connect. When you click that connect button, it also gives you the option to add a note. So what I'm gonna say is, hey Ari, love your content and the chance to learn from you. Hoping to connect. That's all you have to do. And then you send that connection request and you're good to go. Posting on LinkedIn is a great opportunity for you to provide value and solve problems to your LinkedIn community, establish trust, and be the leader in insurance for all of their future questions. So how you create a LinkedIn post is at the very, very top when you log into your LinkedIn account. You'll notice there are several different ways, <laughs> excuse me, to do this. You've got your media, which is videos and images. You can create events to share with your community, and you can write articles or newsletters if you really like to write. Today, we're gonna to focus on media. So when I click on this icon, it gives me the option to upload an image from my computer. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose an ad that our visual storyteller created. There's my video. I'm gonna press next in the bottom right-hand corner. And now I have an opportunity to write some text. This is great to really drive engagement with the content that you're posting. So since this piece of content is about how the personal lines market and the insurance industry is rough right now, and I wanna teach people that there's an easier way to switch to commercial lines, I'm gonna write that in the copy. Are you struggling with personal lines? Us too. Here's a video to help switch to commercial. Again, just like you were about me, you'll notice that it's not long strings of sentences and really complex words. It's quick because again, ultimately this is a social site. People are skimming content. So you wanna capture their attention as quickly as possible. Once you're done, you're gonna press that post icon and it's gonna appear in your feed where people are going to engage with it and comment on it. Wanna expand your audience and highlight a person or a business in your LinkedIn posts? Easy. 
tag them. How you're gonna do that is when you create your post, all you have to do is use the at symbol and then you'll see a bunch of names pop up. So just type in the person or the name of the person that you want to use. So I'm gonna use our visual storyteller who made this video compilation, Matt Mead, and I'm gonna click on his name. Done, Matt Mead's tagged. If I want to tenor, uh, tag Insurance Centers of America, once again, I'm going to use that at Insurance Centers of America. And you're done.